Hey, what's good, man? I didn't know you were coming by today. You know, uh, I know we're gonna meet at this house. I'm already meet one of my houses I have on the block. Oh, you want to see real quick? Come on. Planning to take some. Um, I was planning to take some uh, shots of my basketball today. You know, you know this whole block right here. I thought we were gonna meet at that house down there. You know, cause you know I own all of this. This is all. This is all mine. All mine. You know. Come on, come on. Let's go. Let's go shoot some hoops real quick. You know, being creative director of everything, it's really made me realize how much money I have in the world. So, you know, with a lot of money, you can, you can buy a lot of things. And uh, I bought this tennis court right here. You want to see? I mean, not, it might not be in the best best form, best shape, you know, but it don't matter. You, know, all, you guys all got to see. We got the high, we got some high quality racket, bits, racket things right here. You know what it do. You know, we also got a basketball court, you know. Can I say it, bro? You know I'm a real hooper. I, mean, I know some of y'all are wondering, like, how do I own a tennis court? How do I own not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven, but eight houses? Eight houses? How can a man like me do that? Well, you know, what? come on, let's go inside. Let's come on, let's just go inside, and I'll tell you all about what I do for a living. Come on, guys. What's good, y'all? You know. I just got done hooping and with LeBron James. You know, that's what being a creative director gets you in life. You know, you get to ball up with LeBron James sometimes, but you know, I was talking about the finals and stuff, but you know, that don't matter. That don't matter. I'm here to tell you about what I actually do. Come on. So I bet some of you guys are wondering how I got into so such a lofty position of where I'm at right now, what me being a creative director of of Twitter. <clears throat> Hey, you know, for me to get to the where I am at right now, I had set multiple career goals. I became very, extremely, extremely studious in school. I got out of my original school of Skyline um, very quickly, three, four years, and I transferred over to Cal Berkeley. But that's not the only place to go to. You just need to go to, and you just need to, you can transfer to any other college you want to go to, but I decided to go to Cal. While I was at Cal, I excelled in all my classes. Uh, I, I got my master's in um, creative the business, I mean, business and marketing, my bad, business and marketing. And I also had uh, also had increased my knowledge in the app development field. As I was doing all that, um, I also shot my resume out to Twitter. As I, uh, as I, sent, my, as I sent my resume out to Twitter, uh, they saw it, and they allowed me to come in an internship. At first, yeah, I wasn't really paid that much, but um, it, was a good, it was a good, it was good, it was good. And now, look at me now. I'm um, I'm a creative director, a creative lead at Twitter now, and I'm just I'm living life. I own five, I own eight houses. Who else owns eight houses that you know? With me becoming a creative director and the Bay Area, um, usually the income ranges from ninety-seven thousand dollars, ninety-seven thousand dollars, a little bit of change, to, you know, two hundred thousand dollars. I would say that's probably like where you can find. And if you get really good in your field, like I'm trying to be. You can uh, you can probably get yourself up to around three hundred thousand dollars per year around there. It's a good it's a good pay. You know, as a creative director, you guys are probably wondering what do I actually do? You guys, I'm always I'm always with different teams. I'm always trying to manage different people. You always try to make sure everybody's on the same page, make sure everybody has the same vision, and we work towards the same goal, which is to make our product as good as it can be. Well, Matthew George, I have a couple questions for you today. Question number one, I was wondering how many, how many years did it take you to get to where you are at today in your career? You being the wealthy man that you are. Well, it approximately probably took me around eight, ten years. Uh, that's just at school though, because I had to graduate from my community college where I was at Skyline, and then I went to where I'm at now, I'm at Cal, uh, and then I'm at Twitter. That took around 10, 8, 12 years. I lost track a little bit because you know I'm doing, I'm making so many moves in my life and stuff. But you know, so let's say you're starting a new, a new product brand, a new app. How do you start and how do you make it gain followers? How do you make it big? If you're starting a new app, one thing, I, one of my great tips that I can give you is that you got to make sure that it always. It has to always click, so that you can never it can never not click. You have to make sure it's creative, and make sure people like it. 
you need to make sure it can gain followers. You need to be very socially active. You're going to need a Facebook. Yeah, people still use Facebook nowadays. You're going to need a Twitter. You're going to need an Instagram. You're going to need everything. Every social media you can use, you need to take advantage of it. You need to gain followers. Once you keep on gaining them followers, then you can start gaining traction to your app. Once more people start getting it, then you can start adding little payment fees, little stuff like that. Start helping yourself fund it. And once you start helping yourself fund it, once you start getting a name for yourself, the sponsors will come in. Once the sponsors come in, then you're actually going to start making a lot more money. That's if the, that's only if you're really trying to be a creative lead for your new for a new up and coming app, a new up and coming development, a new up and coming website, something like that. Not if you're not if you're already established and going somewhere. For the last question, what is your biggest challenge you faced, and how did you overcome it, Matthew? I faced many challenges in my life besides just going to not the college I wanted to go to. I had to succeed with the college I was going to. I had to get, had to make sure I maintained good grades. And if you ever face like a creative block in your head, just always take a deep breath. You gotta remember where you're at, and like not many people can get to where you're at. Take a deep breath, calm down, and just start writing down ideas on a piece of paper. Once you start jogging down your own ideas, how to make stuff work, some things are gonna click, and once it clicks for you. Oh, don't don't stop there. Keep on writing and keep on keep on furthering your own knowledge in the field that you're in. What's up, guys? I just got done interviewing Matthew George. Sick dude, great personality. Honestly, he's a top-notch man in the world. He has a lot of good things going for him. If I could say so myself, the project really helped me. Shout out, Mr. Kwame. Uh, he uh, he put me on track for uh, for honestly he helped me figure out what I want to do in my life. Before I before I even came into this counseling class, or even before I even started this project, I really didn't have a good idea about what I want to do in my life or what I want to do at college. This video really helped me out figure out what I want to do in my life. It really helped me figure out like what I want to do in my college career as well. Like I'm just so I'm not wasting time at college anymore. I can set goals for myself and I can make sure I get to this new level. Um, and overall, the class in general has been really helpful. It's been really eye-opening. It really uh, opened up a lot of new chances for me to uh, help me get out of college faster, but also help me, um, like, help me achieve, like, you know, school goals and, like, it, my career goals. And I'm really thankful for that. Uh, thank you, Kwame, for putting me on the right track and for doing what I want to do. And thank you for putting me on this project. I learned a lot about what I want to do in my field and helped me figure out who I really am. See you next time. In the next video, woo, yeet. Yeah. <laughs>